Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for an episode of Life is Feudal, Forest Village on a Feudal Friday. Let's jump into a new game. We're going to have the uh, village named Meyerfield. And it's going to be on the random map, on a small map size, plains type, climate, and no disasters. This is kind of like the island that we're going to wind up on. Life is Feudal, Forest Village is going to be a... Uh, civilization building game set back in the feudal age you start with a small village of ten people uh, six adults um, two teenagers and two babies children whatever adolescents and they are pre pretty much useless until they reach basically adulthood as are the teenagers it's just uh, it's progressing them up through the age ranks uh, to get to where they actually be can become a contributing member of society. Now you can send the kids to school, but that's kind of a down the road thing. So uh, we'll deal with that issue across that river or bridge or whatever when the time comes. So uh, we're going to load up here and then we're going to immediately pause. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of uh, what you'll be seeing on the screen. Okay, so this is our little village. There are three huts, okay? Uh, each hut can house three people, all right? You can improve the huts. You can look at the hut by left-clicking on them, okay? So it's a shack. Uh, it's not a radio shack. Uh, it's not a love shack. And it's not, sure not, a Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Shaq. I wake up cool. Um, it has three people of three people living in it, all right? You can upgrade buildings by using this little white arrow here that says upgrade when I mouse over it. Uh, it tells you the age sex a name and occupation of each person in the uh, that lives in the shack or in the house whatever it is it also tells you that they have firewood and they have food and fruit all right so they're eating good in the neighborhood all right let's close this uh let's take a quick look now we're going to get to this in just a second i'm going to point out what's going on all right upper left hand corner name of the town is meyerfield uh i, I i'm not gonna be able you just have to follow along with my verbal description okay sorry because it's just a pain in the ass okay so Meyerfield has 10 people it's spring of year one 33 degrees and sunny out uh, I think that's Fahrenheit you can read you can set it for Fahrenheit or Celsius uh, down the left side it reads six adults two uh, teenagers two adolescents uh, nobody's unemployed nobody's hungry okay uh, or Z's is people yeah people who aren't doing anything okay uh, then you've got across the top row of your stuff, all right? 200 logs, 120 stone, 100 ore, 100 clay, 100 hay. Hey! Uh, 340 firewood, no charcoal, 700 fish, no meat, uh, no milk. Okay. Then you got eggs, fruit, vegetables, honey. Next row is bread. Then you got fish, meat, fruit, and like vegetable pies. So yeah, this so is like fish pie, ew, meat pie, ew, fruit pie, yum, and vegetable pie. Uh, and then honey pie. Uh, then you got grain. Uh, then we got wheat, which is grain that's been ground up, and flour, excuse me, uh, alcohol, oats, you got primitive tools, you got fancy tools, you got uh, crummy clothes, you got high quality warm clothing, and on the bottom you got herbs, and then you got animal skins, all right, there's herbs, which are used to make medicine in the uh, healer shack, hides, flax, which is also used to make uh, clothing with the hides, wool, which is used to make the warmer clothing, and cast iron, which is used to make the uh, higher quality tools, okay? Down here at the bottom left, if I can carefully navigate the mouse there, we're gonna jump that down. That's our information window, so when stuff happens, like someone's born, or buildings built or something like that, it'll appear in that window down there. The one thing we're missing, then there's the mini map on the upper right, which kind of shows uh, the green is the area we occupy, and then the blue wedge is our view and the direction we're looking. All right, one more thing to do here, and that's gonna be go right here. These are our time controls at the bottom left here, or in the middle bottom. We're gonna go to this little thing here. This controls the stuff we see on the screen, and we're gonna go to professions. We're going to pop that up right chaw, all right? What this does is help us 
uh, keep our workforce working and doing things we need them to do to get done with what we need to get done, okay? So, I, it, and it sure does take up a big chunk of screen, I know. Uh, let me see if I can get just kind of lined up there. All right, so what are we looking at, A-Train? Good question. So we've got three shacks, right? Nine people, because you can have three people in each shack. I can math, three times three is nine. I know they may not teach math facts in elementary schools, especially in the United States anymore, but that's just the way it is. All right, there's 10 people though in the village, which means this person here with a little house over their head is homeless. That's not good. I mean, sleep in the barn or something for gosh sakes. Don't be stupid. So one of the first things you got to do is, uh, is build an additional house to house this homeless person, okay? So we're gonna work on that. Uh, this is the barn, which is where like all the food and stuff is kept. And then this here is a warehouse, which is where all the building materials are kept. The, the logs, stone, ore, clay, and... Hey! All right, the little green bar indicates how full it is. All right, so pretty simple stuff. All right, here's a well. You gotta have a well for fresh water. And uh, it helps to have wells nearby uh, in case the house catches on fire, people will run to the well, the bucket brigade will start, and they'll put the house fire out, okay? Um, other than that, that's the village for now, all right? That's it, boom, done. Um, you start with what you start with, and then you got to get rocking and rolling to um, get your, your people uh, moving and living and all that good stuff. All right, so for some reason, we're still very slowly, Wilbur rotating our view here so the first thing i'm going to want to do if i can get this thing to turn at any sort of decent speed now notice here's a critical thing uh, see this click on a building to deconstruct all right so your ability to demolish buildings is under this uh this primary button right here with the two buildings on it okay everything else is built this is like uh this is terraforming Right here is this this menu button. It allows you to raise lower level and uh, create slopes and stuff. This is um, gather resources. So your free people will gather resources. Uh, the the shovel and pick is gather everything. Then you've got gather trees, gather stone, gather ore, gather. Hey. Or stop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. Okay, those are your buttons there. Uh, next is is uh, build houses. You've got uh, shack here, okay? And then you've got a house, a small house, and then you got a big house, and then you've got a, um, a hostel, which is huge. And you can put like 20 people in it, all right? Now, the nicer the house up to a hostel, uh, people will get busy and make babies, and that helps grow your civilization. However, comma, you want to make sure you've got food in the barn to cover the new mouths to feed, okay? So don't be blowing up your civilization in numbers and not have a way to feed them first, okay? Because then they'll die and, well, you're screwed. Uh, because at some point you'll not have enough people to do the jobs you need and you'll wind up right back where you started with like a handful of people. All right, this is... Uh, this is um, Build a warehouse, build a barn, build a, what is this? A trade fair. Oh, that's new. Okay. And a caravan stables. Caravans uh, allow you to move stuff around between your buildings, your warehouses and your barns. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this is uh, this is critical. This is like your food production under the fish. All right. You can build a fisherman's lodge and you got to build that on the water, obviously. Uh, you can build a gatherer's hut, a hunting cabin, an orchard, a uh, field, uh, an apiary, which is beehives and stuff, so you make honey, a uh, coop, uh, a windmill, which allows you to turn uh, oats and uh, wheat into grain, and or in, uh, turn grain into wheat, and then the bakery allows you to make uh, bread and pies and such, okay? So that's what that button does. Let's see what uh, the next one here. Click. 
All right, this is your resource related stuff and making things, all right? So you make a forester's lodge, which allows you to plant trees and to cut down trees, okay? Um, a lumberjack's lodge cuts the, the trees up into logs. Oh, it turns logs into firewood. A stone quarry mines stone, ore mine mines ore, clay mine, give you three guesses. A uh, blacksmith shop takes ore and, well, wait a minute. I think you've got to refine it over here in the forges. There, there's a furnace and then there's a, a kiln and you got to do a couple of things to make your high quality tools. Uh, and then at the far right, it's a carpenter's uh, shop. I'm going to say avoid this because it's kind of a waste of time because it just makes the janky tools. By the time you're ready to do it, the blacksmith shop will allow you to make high quality tools and you might as well have those, okay? They work much better. Your people, they last longer. Your people are more productive with them, all right? So that's the stuff under the tree, all right? So fish is food, tree is uh, make stuff, gather stuff. Uh, these are other important buildings like a dock, a school, a, a bar. Uh, okay, herbalist. Uh, this is a, a, a herbalist hut, which they go out and gather herbs, and then they take them to a healer shop, and that's basically your local clinic, all right? So your sick people go to the clinic and they get healed, okay? Now, if people die, people croak, you want to have a pyre to burn their bodies in so you don't get diseases running around. And then you've got a crypt where you could bury the bodies, but that's kind of pointless. And a well. We discussed a well that's for fresh water and for putting out fires. Then there's castle stuff. Now, I haven't played this for like several months, so I haven't seen all the castle stuff, but apparently you can build some castle stuff, okay? So that's kind of cool. Uh, then there's roads, uh, which allow your villagers to move faster. You can have like dirt roads or stone roads. Uh, then there's decorations and fences and whatever. Okay? So that's the basics of the GUI. All right. So here we are. We are in spring of year one. And let's build a house. Now, we don't need a large house. We're just going to build a regular house. Now, a regular house will house five people. A small house okay and here you see uh, the number of people it takes to build which is two okay and then it, it shows you the amount of materials it takes to build it okay which is uh, and, and then how much you actually have in your inventory right so the green number is your inventory and the white number above that is uh, what it takes to build it all right so we're gonna move this right over here and I'm going to get real close to this. Uh, I think this is as close as I... Okay, there. There's our overlap. See the red squares? The green means you're good. The red means you're not. All right, now that would be right next door. I want to create room for a double wide path. Here I have double wide paths. There's one. There's two. All right, that should be good. Now, I'm going to use the R key to rotate. All right, so rotate, rotate, rotate. There we go. Now it's facing towards the... the, the uh, the warehouse all right so it's going to take 20 hey 60 logs 20 ore, 20 stone and six units of labor uh, to make a 10 by 10 small house which will house five people all right so we're going to left click and place that there okay now it says no workers are assigned to the building right so we're mm, uh, all right so I right click to close that out all right I uh, I now over here at the left in the profession field, you see there's six out of six people, right? So it's right there. These are all the different trades related to the buildings and stuff, right? So we're going to hire, we're going to tell two people, you're going to go build that building. And then the other people are going to help out by carrying the supplies from the warehouse to the build site. And then they're going to get that sucker built, okay? And we want to do this quickly so dude doesn't die on us because we don't need to lose an adult, all right? We could stand to lose a kid, not that that's cool or anything, but again, adults are productive members of society at this point. Uh, chitlins are not. So until they grow up, you know, it's like, oh, all you're doing is consuming resources. All right, so we're gonna fast uh, advance here to 10 times. And we're gonna get this house built. So the people are gonna run. Now, notice the homeless person standing around like a schmuck. Oh, wait, oh, look, maybe I should help build my house. Oh, genius. Now, 
there's a wolf running around. That's not cool. That's not nobody's dog there. We don't want that. Uh, in a minute, we're going to wind up building a... Oh, man, that looks offline from where I thought I was building it. That's okay. All right, so here's the house being built. And it's going to be ready here in just a minute. And boom. All right, so good. All right, so the uh, see the notice in the bottom left? It says small house started the building construction. Now small house construction complete. Now there's two indications on the house. The snowflake, it means there's no fuel available for heating. Just like the fork and the knife, <coughs> excuse me, means there's no food uh, available. But the the people, uh, the person that's going to live there, they'll go gather that from the uh, from the uh, duh, the barn. Yeah, that place. All right, so let me close this thing. Right top. All right, that gets that out of the way. Now, let's explain a couple other basics here of. Uh, what we need. All right, let me see if I can rotate it. No, I don't want to ro rotate that one. Rotate this way. Holy cowabunga, Batman! That thing's rotating slow. Um, that doesn't speed up either. Just shift, shifty, make it go faster. No, okay. All right. So let me pull the, the view back just a little bit so we can see a little bit better. All right. So I, I point out that there was a wolf in the village, all right? Well, there's other critters running around. There's foxes, and there's uh, bears, and like a moose, or something like that. Um, they serve multiple purposes. First off, they'll jack your people up. You don't want them to kill your people, so that's bad. Uh, second, they're a food source, and third, they're a source of animal hides, which you can turn into clothing, okay? So that's important to build a hunter shack, uh, a hunter's lodge or whatever the hell. I'm Shaq. All right, let's go down here to where the fish is because that's under the food stuff because again, food. All right, so see the bow and arrow? That's what we're looking for. Now, there's gonna be a radius around this. There's a radius around the uh, gatherer's hut. There's a radius around the fisherman's lodge. And you'll see it, it'll be like a dashed line. All right, when I, when I go see it, there it is. A hunting cabin all right so what we want to do is we want to try to put this somewhere where it's going to protect the village but it's out just a little bit now yeah, okay well wait a minute i think there's a spot there's a bit bit bird there all right now what this will do i'm gonna try to zoom in i think carefully all right no 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 uh, let's see if I can carefully move it over there. I'm just trying to get a look at the view, which way it's facing. Because the way it faces is important to me. Oh, I, I, you know what? There's a little, uh, a little cliff looking thing there. All right, let me rotate us around this way. Because there's a tree branch in the way and I can't see what I'm looking for. Okay, so see there's a little rock ledge right there. We're looking to build this right above that rock ledge. All right, and that's, that's why it's being hinky and won't let us build there. If I come back one square, or, oh, okay, I guess it'll build there. All right, anyway, all right, boom. Build that sucker. Uh, and let me right click and now I'll get rid of that, and then let me come down here. Okay, so I kept two workers in the uh, building profession, even though they didn't need to be in that at the moment, okay? But really, it doesn't matter because nobody's really doing anything until I go into gather mode here. Uh, so now we're paused. We're going to kick it into gear again. And right at 10 times speed, we're going to get that hunting. Oh, see, there's a bear right there, too. All right, now see the, the indicators in the house went out because they put some firewood and some food in there. And some people moved into it. All right, so now we've started the building construction. There's a bear. We want the bear to go away. Well, we're going to have to kill the bear. And we're going to take his, his, uh, his pelt, which is cool because that's meat. Um, so as soon as that thing is complete, we'll be good. All right, let's check who moved into the house. So four people moved into the house. The two teenagers and two laborers moved into the house, all right? And they've got food and uh, firewood, so they're good. Now, we could upgrade the house, but then we put them back out in the cold. Second, all right, the second issue is this. All right, so we had, we, we, we have, um, Housing for nine, we've added five, right? So that means we've got housing for 14. Well, we really don't want 
14 people in the village right now. All right, so we, we don't want, uh, so what we're gonna do, because again, we gotta have resources to feed, the, there's more mouths to feed. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear down one of these huts. Um, and then that will drop us back down to 11 uh, people worth of housing, okay? Click on a building to deconstruct. We're going to take this one out here. All right, so now uh, that's gonna take a minute because we're gonna add somebody into the worker force. See, if you look over here, all right, let me right click and clear that off. Uh, they'll move the food out and everything. See here, uh, now I need three people to do the job. Two will get the job done, it will just take longer. So we're gonna up that to three. Now the question mark went away over the building because uh, somebody's assigned to take care of the project. All right, now how is our hoopa jupe coming along here? Let's find it, it's right over uh -huh. here. Oh, well okay, she's carrying fuel to the house. Well, hello. All right, we're, there we go, there's the hunting cabin. Okay, so we've got uh, all the supplies there, now they're building it and they're deconstructing the house. And as soon as these are both done, we're gonna be in good shape. We're gonna have housing for 11 and presto. Okay, looks like everything's good. Now, see the yellow uh, perimeter? That's the area in which the hunters operate. You wanna make sure your village is protected. And right now, we're covered aside from this little tiny sliver here of water. So if an animal comes wandering along and starts goofing around on the beach over here or something, really that's not hypercritical. Uh, if anything comes into this perimeter though, the hunters are gonna go after it in jacket style, okay? So now what we're gonna do is this tells us, okay, you can have up to three people in the building. We, oh, and then you can adjust the resource limit uh, up, and, up and down or whatever. Now, we're gonna work, we're gonna put two people in the profession of hunting, all right? So we're gonna have two out of three, and then we're gonna close this down. Now we're gonna go back over here to our profession chart, and we're gonna take these people out of the building. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, uh, because you wanna get food and stuff quickly, is we're gonna go back down here to the fish, and we're gonna build a gatherer's hut, okay? So the gatherer's hut has a, a radius on it as well. We're gonna put the gatherer's hut right up here by the hunter's lodge, okay? Kind of, sort of, real close. That should do right there, okay. And they'll go out and they'll gather um, like fruits and vegetables and stuff that they can find in the forest, okay? So we're gonna put two people on building that and then we're gonna come back down here and we're going to close this menu and then we're going to kick it in the gear and we're gonna watch okay there's a bear by the gather by the hunters lodge they're gonna kill the bear kill the bear dudes come on dude he's like asking to get killed there's two of them kill the bastards <laughs> damn it I don't want somebody getting hurt because a bear is wandering around in the neighborhood, and you fools aren't killing it. Oh my gosh, this is redonkulous. There's two bears right there. There's three! Ah! Oh wait, we just killed one. There it is. Sweet. I think they, uh, and then what we'll see is, um, you should see the amount of meat go up. And then the number of hides go up. I think you get meat from bears. It may just be from like uh, elk and from pigs or reindeer, whatever the hell they are. Okay, so the gatherer's hut is, is complete. So let's take the gatherer's hut, which is not a pizza hut. It's not a sunglasses hut. It's a gatherer's hut. And let's put a couple of people to work there. Now, uh, sorry, it's just uh, it gets a little hinky here. All right, so we're going to put these other two schlubs to work in the gatherer's hut. One, two. And then we're gonna, all right, now these people here working in the profession, we're gonna take them out of the profession, but we're gonna wind up putting them right back into the profession here in a minute. Now, why do I say that? Actually, 
you know what? We don't need to do that right now. What we need to do is uh, give them work to do. And so what we're going to do is come down here and we're going to assign for them to gather stuff. All right. So let me see if I can get this little thing to come up so you can see it on the screen. Because it's just out of the screen at the bottom. This, this assigns the area to collect resources. Okay. And what they'll do is they'll get all the ore and the trees and the veggies and stuff and all the... Hey! See all that stuff there? All right, see there's a butt ton of, of supplies just in this area right here right around the village. And uh, so we're going to have them gather all that. All right, so that's what they're going to do. All right. And that will help build up our resources. So uh, at some point we'll get to build um, like fields and orchards. And they're only good at, you know, from like spring through late fall. You've got to harvest before the freeze sets in and or you're going to lose crops. And that's not cool. You don't want to lose crops. All right. So Trinity has grown up and is ready to study. Hooray. Uh, oh, you can set up your auto saves and stuff. That's cool. But our little village here now is underway and rocking and rolling. Now, I'm going to build a second house at some point. Um, so a shack holds three, you can improve a shack, it will hold four. A small house holds five, an improved small house holds six. A large house, I think, goes up from there, okay? You see what I'm saying? So you, you, you have a baseline that the building will hold and then you can improve it and that will up it by one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, uh, the better the home, the more likely that uh, couples will get together and get busy and you'll... Uh, You'll have women get pregnant because that's what women do. And they uh, will produce babies and then your population will grow. All right. So we've got our gatherers gathering. We've got our um, hunters hunting. And we've got our uh, people uh, out uh, gathering resources. So this is the basis for the start of our village. And things are looking pretty good right now. All right. So uh, one of the teenagers is going to grow up in a, in, a, in a minute and then they're going to be able to go out and start doing things. See, this has a really pretty day night cycle to it too. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, so now we've got a bunch of fish. We've got some meat gathered up. Uh, we're regaining the resources we used in building the, the uh, house and the, the hunter's lodge and the gatherer's hut uh, and what have you. Ah, now we got a teenager, Bryn Hilde, has grown up, is ready to work. So now they're going to start working on gathering stuff too. So that's an extra body gathering stuff. Uh, the one thing we could do right now, and we'll go ahead and do this because we need to set this up for success. Uh, fish is going to be your key resource for food. Fish is critical. All right. So I. Uh, we're going to wrap up our episode here once we get this uh, Fisherman's Lodge built. Okay, notice again, it has a radius, okay? And you can't do it this direction. It's got to be rotated so the steps are towards the land. Oh my gosh, it's rotate. Ah, okay, there we go. Now we're good. Okay, notice we're on a little bit of a peninsula here. Okay, I'm trying to move this out. Oh, okay, we just moved it out too far. You want to move it out as far as possible. There. All right. Notice there's a blue circle. That's the area that you can gather from within that radius. Um, you don't want to put this necessarily on a flat area because you'll only get half the circle. With this on the peninsula, you get more radius to the circle that's in the water, which means more area to gather from. Does that make sense? All right, so we're going to drop that there. There's no workers assigned to the building. Okay, I get it. We're going to close the menu very slowly, moving the mouse. Thank you. We're going to move over here, and we're going to um, have two people work on building the building. And we're going to get the building built, and then we're going to put one person busy, maybe that teenager, uh, Brimhilde, uh, have them get busy fishing. Um, beyond that... The next critical thing to build will be a, um, let's see, will be a uh, forester's lodge. Because then you'll be able to manage your, your uh, in input of logs by planting trees and by cutting down trees. Now, 
trees have different values to them as far as how much wood they'll produce. Like this tree here, let me see how, if I left click on it. Okay, uh, the Fisherman's Lodge is done. So let's go over here and let's take these two people back out of doing this. And then we're gonna put somebody on fishing. Fisherman's Lodge will hold three people. We're gonna put just one person on it for now. Because we're still trying to gather all those resources, we wanna make sure we've got stuff stored up, um, especially to get through the first winter. We've got quite a bit of uh, firewood already, um, and warm clothes makes that easier, so we don't have any clothing. We have animal hides, but you've gotta have flax to make clothes. Now, uh, how do you know if your people need clothes? Hey, that's a fine question you ask, viewer. All right, let's look here, let's pause, so we can freeze, there we go, stop right there. All right, you can click on your people. Mm -hmm. Mer, hello, Marina. How you doing? All right, Marina has a bag. She's gathered some fruit, okay? She she has a home, okay? And she has, uh, she's a gatherer. That's what she does. Now, she's educated. That's good. She's not bad looking, all right? She's, her current mood level, I guess, is okay. Her clothing durability is, eh, I don't think it's all that great. Uh, tool durability looks good because we've got really good tools. All right, that's kind of a hint. The game's kind of giving you a break on that and saying, here, we're going to give you good tools. So, um, okay, there we go. So you have good tools, uh, so you don't have to worry about that for a bit. Um, what we're going to wind up doing, though, and we'll probably save this for the next episode, is clearing out an area because we'll need to build a field. Now you can change out the crops in your field um, every so often, like every year, I guess. Mo some things get, get uh, picked up twice a year, most things just once. But what we'll need is a flax field because you take flax plus hides makes clothing, whoops, clothing at the weaver's workshop, which is under resource construction. That's the tree. See that right there. Weaver's workshop. That is, allows you to make clothing, right? So that's important. Uh, let's see. Lumberjack's Lodge. We need a Forester's Lodge. Uh, actually, we don't necessarily need the Forester's Lodge yet. We could build a Lumberjack's Lodge, and then the, the trees that are being brought in can be cut up into firewood, all right? That's how that works. But for now, I think we're off to a pretty good start. We've got seven adults, two teenagers, and one adolescent in our little village here. We're gathering stuff, we're get, uh, getting some fish, we're getting some meat. We've got a bunch of meat already, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, we've got lots of fruit and vegetables, so we've got plenty of food for 10 people to make it through the first winter. Uh, I think we also have a sufficient amount of firewood, but when we come back next episode, I think that's what we're going to do is we're going to build a lumberjack or a uh, forester's lodge, uh, and then we'll build a lumberjack uh, uh, shop, and then we'll look at uh, either upgrading our housing a little bit to get rid of those two shacks and, and go to like two houses uh, and add a field, all right? So we're off and running here in Meyerfield on Life is Feudal Forest Village. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of our Let's Play series for uh, Life is Feudal Forest Village. Because there's multiple versions. i got to be specific. There's like an MMORPG version and I think one other uh, version of the game. But I just play this version. It's nice and simple and it's fun. So uh, Feudal Friday, welcome. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be seeing more of this game real soon here on the channel. If you did like it, please give us a like. I, uh, it, It's a lot of fun. You can now get the game on Steam. I'll uh, put a link in the description uh, below. Share it with uh, your friends if you would. You know, I know we like building airports and stuff. Most of my audience is uh, from the Sim Airport crowd. But this is a nice step away from that. Building something uh, a little bit different. And it's a beautiful game. I, I, I apologize. I don't run it in the high graphics levels. 
but those of you with really cool and you know quick machines can run it in the higher graphics levels and I mean if you think it looks impressive on mine wait till you see it on your good machine uh, it'll be really cool hey and if you would give us a like uh, give us a share and subscribe to the channel we welcome everybody on board um, and uh, really appreciate you coming along so we'll have more from my uh, feudal Fridays coming up in the future and uh, other games I promised we were going to get around to other stuff and so now we are all right everybody have yourself a great weekend because we're going into a weekend take care check out our other videos on the channel and we will see you again soon